I wanted to make a quick video talking about EMF, electromagnetic fields, which is a form of radiation that most devices that transmit any kind of wireless signal is going to give off. The reason I want to discuss this is because not many people know about this at all. Uh, the thing that brought me to this was Bluetooth headphones. That is how I ended up looking into this, and it is because I had some side effects from this, from EMF and it got me looking into it, and ever since then I, I do not use Bluetooth headphones anymore. And here's why. EMF is a type of radiation. Microwaves give off this radiation as well. It's the exact same thing. The only difference is microwaves are stronger. You can measure this, there's a device where you can measure this. I've tested multiple devices in my house, and the reason I want to make this video is just to bring awareness to this so that way you can do your own research and make your own informed decision for yourself and for your health because nobody, nobody talks about this and I think it is pretty significant to know. So basically your cell phone, your Bluetooth device, your Wi-Fi router are all emitting radiation. Some people already know this and it's just like we just say, well, it's such a small amount that it won't hurt. And generally that's true. Like you put a phone to your head, you make a phone call, you're not gonna really get any side effects. But if you are somebody who's doing this day in and day out, if you're somebody who's has like your job is making phone calls for eight hours, this is something you need to pay attention to. And this can also apply to you for things in your home that do emit higher frequencies of EMF, such as your microwave and such as your Wi-Fi router. So this is important to decide where you want to put your Wi-Fi router, right? Um, you don't want to have it like right next to you somewhere. And also your microwave. If you are microwaving something, if you use a microwave, you don't want to be anywhere near it when it goes off. Now I have proven this. It is insane how much microwaves leak, but I did a test and I'll put the video right here so you can see how far away I had to walk for there to be no radiation. It's pretty insane to me. I thought it might be if I step back one or two feet from the microwave. No, I had to go back about 14 feet to get a low reading of radiation. It's pretty insane. I mean, you guys are aware if you've ever used a microwave, what a microwave is capable of. So back to technology and devices, your phone, your cell phone's Bluetooth devices. Again, if you are somebody who wears Bluetooth every day, maybe you go for a run, maybe you work out, or maybe you just wear it to listen to music for hours a day, this is something you really want to consider. The reason I had problems is because I had a job that allowed me to wear headphones. So every day, well not every day, but five or six days a week for five to eight hours, I had Bluetooth headphones in. You could imagine that that much radiation exposure right inside of my head, I started to get some symptoms. I, just, I could just feel that something was off and I tried fixing my sleep, it didn't help. I tried fixing my diet, it didn't help. I even tried quitting caffeine, I was like, what is going on, this is weird. The weirdest thing that happened, the weirdest side effect I noticed was my propio, I think that's how you say it, proprioception was off a lot. Example was, let's say I had my phone on the counter and I would go to grab my phone. My eyesight is 20-20, my eyesight is perfectly fine, nothing's wrong, but I would go to grab my phone and I would like bang my ha hand on the side of the table or the desk or hit the corner. And I noticed this a lot when I would go to pick things up that I would constantly be off. And again, this is not, it's not like an eyesight issue. That was the weirdest side effect that I had. The other thing was doing stuff that didn't really make much sense. For example, one time I remember going to the bathroom trying to pump soap out of like the paper towel dispenser and then like dry my hands where the soap is. But also I noticed being very fatigued. I also noticed no matter how much sleep I got, I would wake up and just feel so foggy, so fuzzy, like 
just like in a haze constantly. And again, I tried everything. I tried fixing my sleep. I tried fixing my diet. And I'm a very healthy person. I work out every day. Nothing helped until I started looking into this and thinking maybe it could have something to do with having Bluetooth headphones in all the time. And I looked into it and what do I know? I found out about EMF and that it is in fact a radiation that is emitted from these Bluetooth devices and they can be dangerous over a long period of time. Now the problem is that these Bluetooth devices and cell phones have not been around long enough for us to know. If you research EMF right now, most of the stuff you're gonna find is basically we don't know yet. That's basically what everybody's gonna say is like, well, we don't know yet. We haven't done really enough research. These things haven't been around long enough to know what kind of health effects they have on us. But we do know generally that EMF and radiation is obviously not good for you. A lot of people will say that it's fine because your cell phone is so low, it won't do anything. And these things are starting to show up in a few studies, but of course the tech companies don't want you to know this, but there are cases that have been popping up where people have gotten breast cancer from holding their phone in their bra for 25 years and then developed a tumor in the exact spot. Is it a coincidence? It could be. But again, if you look into this, you're just gonna get the big, I don't know, we don't know, we need more research on this. But we do know the facts that EMF is radiation. We know that radiation is bad. We know that radiation increases your risk of cancer. And back to everybody saying that your cell phone emits such a small amount that it won't make any difference. Here's the only thing I have to say. Would you drink a cup of water if it had one drop of pee in it? Probably not. What if I had said it was two parts per million pee? You probably still wouldn't drink it, okay? No matter how small I made that, you don't wanna put that in your body. That's the way I think we should look at this instead of saying it's a small amount because there can be health effects. And again, you have to remember, our parents and their parents, they didn't have all the devices we have today. So we don't know, we are the guinea pigs of this new technology, of this Bluetooth, of this wireless technology. We, our generation and the next one will be the guinea pigs to find out how dangerous and how many health effects this stuff can have. So my only advice to you is to just be aware, okay? When you use the microwave, don't be near it, don't let your kids be near it. If you're gonna use a Wi-Fi router, I think most of us are, put it in a good location, be smart about where you're placing it. And if you're gonna use Bluetooth, I would recommend you don't, but just try to limit your use. Some of these people will say you need to get like hollow tubes so they don't carry the radiation from your phone to your ears. I tested this, it's not true. You can plug in wired headphones to your phone, they will not carry the radiation to your head. I've tested this, I will post a video here so you can see that proof. Um, I did this for myself to know, do I really need to buy one? It's freaking hollow tube. You're, no, you don't. Wired works fine. They don't trans, They don't carry the radiation. So just be aware of where you're putting devices, how much exposure time that you are getting. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And remember to get better every single day. Thanks for watching.